What's up guys, Gappy here, back with another video. Now, I know I haven't uploaded in a while, but that's a different topic for a different video. Now, what I want to show you guys today is how to use DX Story, a program I'm sure you've heard of if you've ever tried to record PC gameplay, and um, a program called Virtual Audio Cable in tandem. So, if we go into DX Story right now, um, and you go into the audio section you'll see here you can add multiple audio tracks now this is what you're gonna see if you just install it by default you're gonna see it's got the main speakers so your system volume now if I wanna for example record my microphone as well I click here at audio stream click on it and then select my microphone and what's this gonna do this is going to do is it's going to record my microphone and the system audio independently in in two separate audio streams so um yeah it's pretty much that but for example if you're playing a game with your friends and you're on team speak with them and they're for example they're too loud so you can't hear the game um properly and in post you try to turn down your audio stream with your system audio and you turn it down enough um, to where you can hear your friends and yourself, but you can't hear the game. Um, so, uh, virtual audio cable provides a workaround for that. So, if you go into the control panel here, um, this is how it's going to look um, by default when you install it. Now, in order to add multiple cables, you're going to have to run this as an administrator. For what I'm trying to do right now, uh, this you don't have to change anything here. I guess you can play around with these settings here, but I don't have to. Um, so yeah, we're done here. Now, uh, when you install Virtual Audio Cable, if you go into your playback devices and scroll to the bottom, you should see a line one Virtual Audio Cable here. If you had multiple lines, you'll see multiple ones of these. So, um. Let's say I want to use this for TeamSpeak. I go into properties here, and you don't have to do this. I'm just doing this so I know what I'm using this for. So, um, TeamSpeak, okay, whatever. So it's gonna be used for solely for TeamSpeak. If you want to have one for Skype, I suggest you name it Skype or whatever. So now, if you go into TeamSpeak, into settings and options, and yeah, okay, everything's good. Um, it should be this should be set to default or whatever you set it to you're going to want to set this to your virtual audio virtual audio cable uh, playback device and hit apply now if you connect to the teamspeak public server um you should we should be hearing a lot of people connecting and disconnecting um but we're not so here's how to fix that you want to you want to close whatever program you're doing this for um, because if you don't, it's gonna just mess up the audio. So you wanna go into the audio repeater. Um, this all comes installed when you. Ins this all installs when you install virtual audio cable, so you don't have to worry about anything. So on the wave in section, you're gonna wanna add your line one virtual audio cable, and on the wave out, you're gonna wanna add whatever you want to stream this to so I'm going to stream it to my headset so I can hear stuff and you want to you want to keep this running while you're you know talking or whatever and hit start here so this is working now so if you go into TeamSpeak again and connect to the, the public server yeah, right now it's, it's the, the sound is sort of for some reason, I don't know why but it is. now I'm going to I don't want to listen to this anymore but yeah, this is how it should sound. So you should be able to hear your program. Now, the way to add this to DX Story is to click on to add one audio stream here. Click on it and then select your virtual audio cable here. So now this is pretty much it. You just record whatever you want and you know, obviously make sure your audio's working fine, it's not distorted like mine was. You gotta tweak a little bit. It might be because I'm recording with OBS um, at the same time. But, you know, I don't know. So, yeah, this is this is how you do it. Now I'm gonna show you how it would look in uh, a video editor, um, for example, Sony Vegas. 
Okay, so I'm back in Sony Vegas Pro 13. Now, this is the OBS recording I just recorded. So you see my desktop here. And there's only one audio track because uh, OBS combines both your microphone and your desktop volume or audio. But if we, for example, look at this Minecraft footage I recorded with the X story, you can see there's three audio tracks. Uh, one's, this is the system audio, I think. This is my microphone. This is TeamSpeak specifically. So we probably the, the, the mad madness that is the TeamSpeak public server. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much it. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. If you have any problems, Google it. You know, Google is your friend. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you've all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all later. Bye bye.